For more on the withdrawal from the ICC, I'm joined now from New York by Michael Klein. He's an analyst focusing on issues in Africa. Uh, Gambia's uh, decision considered a big blow to the court in the sense that the chief prosecutor actually comes from Gambia. Talk to us about the significance of this move. Right, Mike. Gambia is actually the third of the latest countries to withdraw or signal their withdrawing from the International Criminal Court in Africa, a continent that has the most conflicts in the world and arguably the least capable and impartial judicial space. That's an intersection that the court was intended to address in the first place. The larger or longer term problem is, is this, in fact, signals an exodus um, in this troubled region because the court can only operate within its member states. So it shrinks not only its stature, uh, but also its jurisdiction. So are we going to see an exodus? Because Kenya and Namibia also uh, talking about taking similar steps. As well as uh, Uganda. And uh, Kenya, Uganda, and uh, Burundi and Gambia are countries that have their own legal shortcomings and allegations of high level political crimes that the court was supposed to address. The real problem is South Africa, which has more developed democratic institutions signaling they're going to withdraw, possibly providing cover for African neighbors uh, as they make a play to be a leader in the region. Uh, the Gambian government statement said that the court unfairly targeted African leaders. The court is supposed to target leaders. We would think it were unfair if it were only targeting uh, low-level officials. It's not supposed to primarily target Africans. And that's a problem that has been rumbling on the continent and that the court uh, had foreseen uh, for some time. Yeah, you talked about those rumblings, uh, and, and you heard in the lead-in to you uh, these claims that the ICC should stand for the International Caucasian Court. As it stands now, six cases, some ongoing, others just being launched, involving people from African states. Is there merit to their claims? It's not the uh, only place to come under uh, international jurisdiction. People remember Slobodan Milosevic standing trial and uh, similarly joint international or UN uh, mandated uh, tribunals in Cambodia, uh, East Timor, uh, currently in Lebanon as well. Uh, the problem is that the court is supposed to go after uh, spaces that don't have the judicial authority or impartiality to prosecute leaders. And it seems to be uh, making those steps uh, with some high-level visits to the, uh, the Middle East, um, an investigation undergoing in Georgia following the Georgian-Russian war, and even a warning to the new Philippine president about extrajudicial killings there. Michael Klein joining us from New York. Thanks so much for your observations.